Hi guys and welcome to our podcast. Today we're going to discuss the ways that will help you find the best mortgage lender. Buying a home means a lot. It's for the long haul. Thus, as a buyer, you will need to find the best mortgage lender. You will have a mortgage payment for about 15, 20, or even 30 years. Therefore, finding a mortgage lender to work with comfortably will help you in your stay. Most people will need homes, and thus, with the inclusion of a loan, you are buying both. According to a survey conducted by the U.S. Consumer Financial Protection Bureau in 2013, it indicates that more than half of the American borrowers did not shop before settling on a mortgage. Finding the best mortgage lender in the market is not easy. It involves more than just getting a good interest rate. It is far beyond what most people look for. Lowest rates, since it's very critical for your mortgage and generally in investments. More importantly, you want to work with the best mortgage companies out there. Companies with professional staff who will guide you every step. To find the best lender, you'll need to consider the following tips. Credit score. This has to be in good shape. The higher your credit score, the more leverage you will get for the home loan. If you don't know your credit score, find it here. Lending landscape. You need to know what your fighting ground. Basically, it becomes difficult to discern who the best mortgage lenders are if you're in a crowded field. There are a wide range of lenders to choose from. They include credit unions, mortgage bankers, correspondent lenders, among others. Rate comparison. You will need to search and compare the best mortgage rates by every mean, whether online or delivered to you every day. Communication. This is a powerful tool used effectively. Find more about communication, fees, and also other requirements. The first of many steps in finding the best mortgage lender is checking the mortgage rates. Bankrate.com provides exclusive reports that will aid you in finding your perfect lender. For first time home buyers, you need to be concerned with the lenders who offer, who offer FHA loans. Furthermore, look for lenders with low down payment requirements. In addition, loans to borrowers with a low credit score. After you find the best mortgage lender, based on your comfortability to the credit score, you need to start getting some quotes. Follow up with some research and interviews. Finally, choose the lender you are comfortable with. The lenders will offer sound advice on homeownership. Thus, start looking for a mortgage professional before settling on the thought of having a home. However, everything has its own sunny side and a shady side. Finding a mortgage lender may seem quite easy, but in reality, it's not. The rates change frequently, even twice a day. Therefore, it is a bit of a challenge. Now let's discuss about the four most important tips for finding a mortgage lender. Number one, understand the mortgage lending market. The first option in finding the best mortgage lender is to get a clean view of what your mortgage market looks like. Consider your options. Determine who stays and who leaves in your, in your mortgage field. Knowing the lending landscape helps a lot. You will have to choose your lenders from credit unions. They are member-owned financial institutions. They offer favorable interest rates to the shareholders. Basically, they are much similar to banks in terms of services offered. However, they have limited financial products to offer. For loans, one can easily qualify for since their loan originations are lower. Correspondent lenders. They are usually local mortgage companies. They have the resources that you need to make you a loan. However, their operations rely on a pipeline of other lenders. These include the Wells Fargo and the Chase. Mortgage bankers. These are financial institutions offering mortgage loans to borrowers. Mortgage bankers work for a specific financial institution and usually package loans for consideration. This is usually done by the bank loan underwriters. Mortgage brokers. These are not lenders. To be more specific, they are intermediaries between buyers and sellers. Brokers are usually important in helping you access a variety of services and quotes. A good mortgage broker can help their client save a lot of cash at any given instance. Mutual savings banks. This is another type of financial institution. They are more like the savings than the loans. They are usually locally focused and competitive too. This is your mortgage training field. You should get a hint of who you go for and who you leave. This will very much depend on the rates offered among other factors. Decide if and what kind of mortgage broker or lender you want. After you've done your homework on the players in your field, the second stage sets in. Deciding on the lender that you want. This is where the road gets a little stiff. Patience will have to play a major role. Well, as noted above, you've seen there are so many kinds of mortgage lenders. Therefore, you have more options to choose from. The initial stage is to search for the best mortgage rates. This could be done online, which for most is the best solution. 
Still, you can choose to work with a broker. There are many benefits that you may get by working with a broker. Time is a factor. Brokers will help you save a lot of time by taking up the larger portion of the work. Now keep in mind that the rate quote that you will see online is your starting point. This is where it gets more interesting. Brokers will pull off your credit information and process a loan application for you, thus saving you a considerable amount of time. By arranging deals with the home buyer and the owner, the broker makes their portion of the profit. You need to be careful at this point. There are malicious brokers who want to benefit themselves. Therefore, they will set you up with the wrong company so that they can gain the highest profit. If you decide it best to work with a broker, then past clients present a nice picture of what they can do. Do your research. Is the broker worth it? The third tip, research the lender's reputation. Reputation, reputation, reputation. It doesn't matter what is being said about the lender. It's fine to go by what others say about a lender. But the prime decision is up to you. A background check on the lender's reputation is very important. Get a record of the lender's performance as well as their performance from past clients. Make sure to speak with them. Check for the online reviews about the lender. The best thing about researching about a potential lender is that it will save you headaches in the future. This is a daunting process and along the way you may feel discouraged. There are so many lenders available and especially if you are tempted to check up online. Here's what Michael Jablonski has to say about finding the best mortgage lenders. You want to sit down with two or three lenders to make sure you find one who's a good fit. The right match for you as a borrower rather than a product pusher. He adds, mortgage lending should be a collaborative process. Researching the lender's reputation is one of the best things you could do. Not every lender is reputable. There are some signs that you need to be focused on when considering a potential lender. First of all, is the lender concerned about your financial situation? Does the lender keep in contact with you? All of these are some questions that you need to be asking yourself when considering a lender. Loan size for a lender is a particular factor that is so important. Therefore, if the lender is concerned about this, then he can be a perfect candidate. Creditworthiness, your down payment are some of the most important considerations lenders make. If your candidate doesn't keep this in mind, then you should walk away. Interviewing a lender is actually a positive move that you want to make. Finding more about their reputation may not be enough. You need to be concerned about their qualifications and skills. If it is a broker, is he licensed? Some people have landed in serious situations where they have been defrauded. In the same case, you need to assess the kind of programs they offer. Not all offer the FHA, VA, or USDA rural development loans. The last tip is to compare plans quotes of different mortgage lenders. It's done! You're on your final step. Finding a lender isn't easy. On the surface, yes, but practically. But before striking the deal by making a mark on a sheet, do you have some personal recommendations to go on? If you don't, then it's best that you get to outsource both in the local and national lenders online. Online, this has been an easy route that most prospects choose to take. Well, it is a nice platform to get everything you need. However, the leads that you get can be convenient, but they present a hassle. So you need to strike the deal by surrendering some of your personal details. This will give you a rough idea on the mortgage company and how far they are willing to go with you. It will also give you an idea of the rates that you'd qualify for. Companies will start offering their quotes. When they do, do not just look for their interest rates. It is best you consider some other factors. These may be origin fees as well as other fees charged by the lenders. Finding the best real mortgage rate is a hustle on its own. Here at this point, finding your rate online could do you a lot of good, even if it is the APR quotes. Your personal information is important in getting the rates and quotes that you may be needing. See how to increase mortgage chances. Some of the information needed includes your personal income, the debt you owe, your credit score and history, see how to achieve great credit score, the amount of loan that you may be seeking, the value of the house you are buying or refinancing. Getting a full estimate on the cost will do you more good than damage. Once you have a range of options to choose from, it's best that you get to compare what you have from all the companies and then decide on the best to go with. The reputation of the lender is the key thing that you should be looking for, even though you are interested in getting lower interest rates and fees. In addition to that, the financial stability of the lender should be a key factor to consider. Following the tips and the guidelines above, that should steer you into the landing of one of the best mortgage lenders out there. That's it for now. On our website you can find more posts as well as mortgage calculators and other financial tools. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to our podcast channel on YouTube. 
We would love to know the ways you find a mortgage lender, so feel free to share them in the comments below.